So last night, when we got the news for part two of the global thank you celebration, I think most people were pretty disappointed by the details that we got. I mean, at least I was. If you guys saw the video of me going through the news, you could see the physical pain and disappointment on my face. And I was trying to hide it a little bit, but honestly, like, I couldn't fully hide it. It was, it was just too much. It was too disappointing. And, uh, I mean, <laughs> If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's on the channel, obviously. Um, so yeah, I was not happy with the details for part two of the celebration, especially based off part two last year, which was significantly more exciting, significantly more hype. And uh, the main thing that was really, really disappointing to me was the lack of any type of like hype summons, hype banner, right? But that being said, that being said, uh, last night at reset, we did get a mysterious message or notice in the news about, let me find it real quick, uh, here we go. So we got a very, very, um, I guess vague message that says a special summon event is coming soon. Dear players, a special summon event in celebration of the upcoming release of a new event will soon be available. Please stay tuned for the upcoming special summon event and new event. Please note the event content and dates are subject to change without prior warning. So right now, the internet, at least when it comes to Dokkan, is kind of exploding and people are just going crazy speculating about what this new event is going to be. And uh, after giving it some thoughts, you know, after looking through the internet as well, looking through what people are thinking on Reddit and Twitter and all that stuff, uh, I have come to the conclusion that this could be referring to three possible things, alright? And let me just be clear that I don't have any insider information, so I don't have any, like, leaks to give you. This video is going to be pure speculation, but uh, I do think that there's a very good chance that what this is referring to is one of three things. And initially when I first saw this, I was like, Maybe this is for the Tanabana banner, right? Like the uh, LR Super Saiyan 4s and LR Gobros banner that JP got for the Tanabata celebration that uh, we were expecting for part two of the thank you celebration. So maybe it's referring to that, or maybe it's talking about a step up banner. You know, like the one we got for New Year's, where uh, you have five steps and then the last step guarantees you an LR. That'd be pretty awesome, right? But then I looked more into it and it says a new event will be coming with it. So. If that's the case, then it wouldn't really make sense for it to be one of those two banners since there's not really an associated event with them. I mean, it's still possible. Maybe they'll release like some other event and then release a Tanabata banner or a Step Up banner to celebrate the release of that event. So maybe the event and the summons are not necessarily like connected or like not directly connected, right? Um, so that's a possibility, right? But I don't really think that's the case. I feel like whatever the summon or new banner is going to be, uh, it's going to be related to the new event. So let's get into what I think the possibilities are. And once again, this is not a leak. This is pure speculation. So if you're okay with that, then keep watching. If you're not okay with that, then uh, wait until I have more information about what this is going to be. All right. So the first thing, number one, what I think this could be is the release of a new friend summon LR. And this will make sense because, uh, first of all, we haven't had a new friend summon LR in a long time. In fact, the last time we had a friend summon LR, like a new one, was actually last year. Yeah, for last year's thank you celebration. So if they wanted to continue that trend of maybe every thank you celebration, wait, maybe it was for the download celebration. Yeah, it was either for the download celebration or for the for the thank you celebration. I can't remember exactly, but it's been about a year or maybe just over a year. So we're definitely due for a new friend summon LR. And that would be pretty awesome. I mean, even though these friend summon LRs are never top tier, the last one we got, the LR Saiyaman 1 and 2, they're still a very good unit. And it would give us something to do on global for a while since friend summon LRs take a lot of grinding, they take a lot of resources. And uh, even though, you know, it's just... It's, it's a lot of hard work, it's, it's a pain in the ass, but it is very rewarding in my opinion, and um, that'd be pretty cool. And also the possibilities are kind of endless, right? They can really do anything they want with this. They could release like a Dr. Jiro and Android 19, or like a Goku and Bulma, or a Vegeta and, wait no, Goku and Chi Chi, Vegeta and Bulma, or, oh my god, yo, Krillin and 18. I would be so freaking happy if they did 
a Krillin in 18. I would love that. That would be my number one choice. But, you know, there's so many possibilities, man. It could be like Scouter, Vegeta, and Nappa, or even Nappa and Cy uh, Cybermen, or Kami and Popo. Um, they could do anything they want with it. So that would be pretty awesome. I would really like that. And maybe the associated event, like the new event that's coming with that, would just be like a new story event where we can farm the medals to awaken this new friend summon LR or something like that. So essentially in this scenario, the new summon event would just be a change to the current friend banner to include the um, new friend summon LR and then the new special event would be the event to collect medals and whatever else you need to awaken them to LR status. So that's the first thing that is possible that I feel like is definitely plausible since they're already doing something special with the friend summon LR or the friend summon banner with those Elder Kai's, maybe it's a way to like drain our friend points before they release the new friend LR, who really knows, right? So that's the first thing, first possibility, first uh, guess I have. And the second thing, I have my notes here so I'm gonna take a look at it real quick. Okay, the second thing I wanted to talk about is uh, possibly a new fighting legend event, like the fighting legend Goku event that we currently have on both versions of the game, right? So. A lot of people have been talking about this for a while, ever since pretty much the event first came out. They were like, yo, we could do this with so many different characters, right? We can have like a fighting legend Vegeta, where we go from base form Vegeta all the way to uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, right? They could definitely do a fighting legend Gohan, where we go from base Gohan to like ultimate Gohan, or um, fighting legend Cell, fighting legend uh, Boo. Frieza, so on and so forth. So obviously a lot of possibilities there too. So let's say this is talking about a new fighting legend event, then obviously there would be a associated ticket banner where we use the tickets we get from the actual event to summon for uh, the characters of, or units of like that character. So for the Goku event, for the fighting legend Goku event or legendary Goku event, we got tickets to summon on an all Goku banner. So if we got a fighting legend Vegeta event, then it would be like all Vegeta, or we got a fighting legend Frieza event to be all Frieza's and so on and so forth. So that could be what this is um, talking about as well. That's a second possibility. And I feel like that's also pretty plausible since it's been a while. Um, since the fighting legend Goku event or the legendary Goku event first came out, so it wouldn't be surprising if they released another stage um, after all this time, right? So that's the second thing. And the third thing, the third and final possibility is uh, still pretty hyped to me. I think a lot of people are still looking forward to this. It's not a completely brand new thing, but it would be the release of the new summoning animations on Global that JP has had for a couple months now. So we'd finally be getting animations like the new uh, double screen crack, the lingering Kamehameha, the uh, Rose Rift, the Xeno animation, um, the Whis and Beerus, and uh, all the new characters that came with the new batch of animations as well. So um, that'd be pretty cool. And I think I said actually in a video going over the new animations a couple months ago, that I expect these animations to drop on Global sometime around the end of November, beginning of December, so the timeline would actually be perfect for my previous prediction. So uh, like I said, this could be the new animations, and if you guys remember, if you were here uh, for the last batch of animations that were released on Global, we actually got a special event with like a special uh, new summoning animations banner with like for some free tickets they gave. Uh, to summon and try out the new animations, so uh, they could literally do the exact same thing as last time, give us some free tickets to summon on a special new summoning animation banner. So uh, that could also be the new summon event, right? And I mean, here's the thing, there, there wasn't really a new like story event or anything like that that was associated with it, but maybe the actual new event they're talking about would be the new animations i, I don't really know but i feel like the timeline the uh, actual uh release window makes sense for us to get the new animations around this time in the next like couple of weeks so uh, that's the third possibility so to summarize everything i've talked about in today's video i feel like this very mysterious very vague news release could be referring to one of three possible things. All right, the first one is the release of a new friend summon LR 
along with some kind of new story event where we can collect medals to awaken said LR, right? The second thing is a new legendary event or new fighting legend event of some kind, like the legendary Goku event, except with a different character. So maybe a legendary Vegeta event, a legendary Gohan event, a legendary Frieza event, a legendary Cell event, so on and so forth. There's a lot of options for this one as well. And uh, obviously there would be a associated ticket banner where we can use the tickets that we get from the event to summon for units of that character. So if it's a legendary Frieza event, then the ticket banner would be an all Frieza banner, right? So that's the second possibility. And the third thing would be the release of the new summoning animations on Global. And then uh, with that, there would be some kind of like mini celebration to uh, celebrate that occasion. So those are the three possibilities that I've thought of that I feel like are the most plausible. In my opinion, the summoning animation one is probably the most likely but I would honestly prefer something completely brand new we've never seen before, like a new LR or a new legendary event, because I think that'd be significantly more hype, even though I am very much looking forward to the new summoning animations on Global. So uh, that's pretty much it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these three things you guys think is the most plausible, or maybe you think I'm wrong about all of them and you have a completely different idea about what this notice is referring to and if that's the case then that's totally cool all ideas are definitely welcome so make sure to leave your comment i would love to read it and that's gonna do it for today's video that's it thank you guys so much for watching i know this video went kind of long but i feel like these discussions are definitely worth the effort and uh, as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.